directors of the Spirit Bike Festival. Uh, in its current format, we've been doing this since 2002. Uh, originally, the race was back in 1994 and 95 called the Mountain Chase, and it was a mountain bike only race that the Market Mountain Ski Patrol created at Market Mountain. It expanded into the road biking thing with Lance Armstrong and road biking and all that excitement back in the early 2000s. And we've had an actually tremendous run, uh, culminating with the last two previous years having uh, the hosting opportunity for the state championship in road bike racing for Michigan. Uh, so, good things happened because of that. We, unfortunately, probably have the best year going ever in our planning processes. The website has been available since February. Uh, and as recently as last evening, we had only 58 riders registered. Uh, we would normally like to see 500 or more. We ended up with 522 or thereabouts last year. Uh, and so the gap between the 500 and some riders and 58 is, is, a, is a dramatic gap. And with six weeks to go before the race, any event coordinator that is involved in something like this should be as nervous as I am. And so uh, two evenings ago, we really started delving into this. Um, looks seriously at our costs. Uh, because we are the Market Mountain Ski Patrol and we give our proceeds to the YMCA Strong Kids campaign, I have no problem telling you that we give a third of our net profit to the Strong Kids campaign. Uh, that amounted to be approximately $3,300 last year. Uh, the remaining, remaining money uh, goes to seed money for future year's races and the uh, education of the Market Mountain Ski Patrol or members with regards to the latest in first aid techniques and technology. So uh, that clears up where the money goes. Back to the situation, uh, we're missing a whole lot of riders for some reason. And we are at this magical point in our calendar where within about 48 hours of yesterday, we have to make the decision to silk screen shirts and buy awards and buy the cowbells and those kinds of things. And unfortunately, all of those expenses dramatically increase our exposure to the problem at hand called not enough money to make ends meet. Um, the, the race actually creates about uh, $49,000 in money coming into us. We send about 41000 of it back out in expenses. Uh, obviously, ski patrollers don't charge for this. There's no one that is in the Superior Bike Festival that's paid like a coordinator or something like that. So it's purely a cost and an income and a gap and a proceeds and a giving opportunity. So uh, that's about all I can share with you. I certainly appreciate all of you coming because as disappointing as this is, it's critical that we get to the public uh, and we get to the riders and tell them that sadly they can pick another event uh, on the 24th, 25th, and 26th of June. Now, uh, we are already taking steps on our Facebook page and our Bike Festival website to put the race is canceled for 2011. It's not done, and I'm not sure that this is the end of it, and I can't tell you that because I don't have a crystal ball. But the reality is this year's economic situation uh, leaves us with, unfortunately, no other alternative other than to grossly, potentially, lose a lot of money uh, to stop right now. We're going to uh, return all of the riders who have registered their money. Uh, what few limited sponsors we have collected money from already, we are going to return. And uh, uh, we're just very fortunate that the Market Mountain Ski Patrol Spear Bike Festival checking account has money in it that is capable of paying for advertising and things like that that we've committed to to get us to this point. And so, um, beyond that, I'll take a shot at whatever you want to ask me. Jim, have these sponsorship dollars this year been comparable to the past year, or is that a problem as well? I think the sponsorship dollars would have come in had we continued. As, as a matter of fact, 
many of you in this room probably received a thank you note from me in the last couple of days because the deadline for getting the logos squared away is the 15th of May. So I really do believe that other than a couple of uh, very, very unique situations, the core of the community that has been our sponsors uh, were there. Uh, we were very fortunate to have two significant, actually three, uh, Pat Black and the Convention and Visitors Bureau, uh, uh, UP Health Plan, 